June 19 marked the 153rd anniversary of Juneteenth. The day represents the time when Texas finally received word two years after the Emancipation Proclamation that slavery was abolished and all African Americans were free. A day that doesn't get much recognition, Riverside Church has taken the responsibility to hold an event celebrating the perseverance of past leaders who fought so hard for equality. Reverend Dr. James Forbes, chairperson of the Juneteenth Committee, says that the day should not just be recognized by African Americans, but by everyone who stands for freedom. Every American citizen has to decide, do you want to pursue your greatness and your success and your fulfillment in separation, one class, one race, one religion over against the other? Or do you want to do it together, celebrating freedom and justice for all people? This is the fourth year of Juneteenth celebrations at the Riverside Church, where they also honor individuals making contributions to the social well-being of their community with the Spirit Alive Awards. Honorees received the awards on the same pulpit Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his speech against the Vietnam War, insisting that it was morally imperative for the United States to halt the war through nonviolent means. Honorees such as Gina Belafonte, who was recognized with her father Harry Belafonte for their organization Sankofa, and Christina Jimenez, executive director and co-founder of United We Dream, used the platform to shed light on the thousands of children who have been separated from their parents at the border, saying that it was our time to be the voice for the voiceless. And I cannot express with words how much this moment in this particular week means to me. Because in the midst of very difficult times, and many attacks that our communities are facing. And as we're hearing horrifying news from the border and other parts of the country, I am so glad to be with people with whom the spirit is alive. It is up to us to harness what Sankofa really means. We are the legacy of Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, Ella Baker, Fannie Lou Hamer, Shirley Chisholm of Frederick Douglass, W.E.B. Du Bois, Gandhi, Paul Robeson, Franz Fanon, Dr. King, Malcolm X, and so many others who left us. In light of the ongoing battle of immigration and our government, attendees were encouraged to see Juneteenth as a reminder towards the fight for freedom and to be a beacon of light to those who still may need it. For Bronsnet, I'm Veronica Greeti.